Hey, how's everybody's day? Uh, first of all, all my new subscribers, hello, welcome. Um, I thought I'd give you guys a little different view today. And over my left shoulder, there's a. Sometimes in my videos now, you'll hear birds. That's my two budgies. I like them. Anyways, buck up my accomplices, I'm driving. see from the title we'll be touching on a few things today now it's it's hard to pick which one to start which one's more important they're all important so but anyway we'll start with the the couple in st louis it's all over social media and twitter i guess i don't know about tiktok probably same thing anyway some of the things i've seen and um these protesters come up on these people's private property like apparently they broke a gate to get in there um, they're apparently on the way to the mayor's house and uh, this couple come out man with a automatic well, I don't think it was automatic but maybe it was automatic I don't know about the states but anyways a, a rifle and the, the lady come out with a handgun and um, from the videos and that I've seen uh, the husband should have been more worried <laughs> with the wife with the handgun because uh, she waved it there behind his head for a little bit. But anyways, um, now the thing about that, just put yourself in their position. Okay, they've been watching the news and uh, seeing all the things that are happening. I mean, little old ladies getting beat by with two by fours and people being killed and businesses burned and everything and and now you have this mob of people broke through the gates to get onto your private property um what would you do would you sit in the house and wait for somebody to to start kicking the doors in before you confronted them or would you go out in your yard and say hey move away right and I mean, uh, they give, it's their right, it's their private property, you know. Um, and, and the sad thing about it that I found was, I didn't see no video of it, and I, I couldn't find any, but maybe I didn't look hard enough, I don't know. But apparently these people, at the end of it, kneeled down to them. <laughs> You know, um, that just shows you people what it's coming to, right? And uh, like I said before, when these people kneel down, it's just giving more power to the people that are asking them to kneel, right? And uh, I don't blame the couple at all. I mean, you do what you want to do. Maybe they thought that would help defuse the situation. Maybe that's what he was trying to do, or they were trying to do. I don't know for sure. Anyways, another sad thing in Louisville. A young man named Taylor Garth, I believe it is, um, was killed. A photographer there was at a protest or some kind of camp, tents and stuff like that, right? Because his other... crazy guy, a Stephen Lopez. People were trying to get him to leave because he was being destructive. And uh, he was a ways away from him, pulled his pistol out, and shot a couple shots in the air, and then started shooting into the crowd. Now the crowd returned fire, somebody in the crowd, and, and took him down. Didn't kill him, just got him in the way, but anyways, took him down. And See, there's your Second Amendment in the States again, right? So, now this Stephen Lopez guy, apparently, according to the chief of police in Louisville, or some head guy in Louisville anyways, and the police said that he'd been arrested twice in like three weeks at these protests and released with his legal gun. Now, hold on. 
you know, maybe arrested the first time, and if he had the gun legally and could carry it legally and everything, release him with it. But after the second time, hold on, we're going to have to do some, some checking on you before we give you back your handgun. I mean, that, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Right? I know it's the Second Amendment and all that stuff, but at some point some common sense has to prevail, people. Right? And my condolences to the person that got killed, his family, and that. It's just, it, it's sad what's going on. It's crazy as shit. Okay? Now, why the police came back his gun the second time is fucking beyond me, man. Were they scared to to have some kind of pushback from it on social media, right? Anyways, now on to Chaz. <laughs> uh, lots of people say this thing was an experiment. Well, if it was, it's a failed one. And man, why the mayor hasn't <laughs> shut it down like she's been threatening for four or five days or something, anyways. Now, A young 16 year old black guy and I shouldn't have to say black but it's bad it's a 16 year old guy right but everybody's all concerned about black lives matter now I don't see any of that shit happening anyways he's dead and a 14 year olds in in the hospital now since this goddamn place started there's been I'd be six shootings two people dead and and four injured I could be wrong in that post, but I'm pretty sure. But then things could change from hour to hour with that place. Now, I seen conflicting stories and video. Now, apparently, on CNN and channels like that, they're saying these young guys. Well, there was a silver uh, van shooting up a. Uh, people right and uh, the Chaz so-called security shot up a white jeep well so they're conflicting right there oh they shot up the wrong ones or somebody saying they shot up the wrong ones to follow their agenda well I seen the video of that white jeep and mind you there's thousands of white jeeps but the chances are it was the same one got shot up running or driving through uh, I guess it would be looked like a basketball court or something like that there's tents and everything and apparently um, they were shooting coming out of that and the other guy shot back and stopped it rightly so but and the police have a problem getting in there and by the time the police did get in there that Cherokee a Jeep would have the crime scene was <laughs> so disturbing they can't get in the way of it it's like there's so many people's handprints and <coughs> stuff all over it and everything and they can't investigate it probably they have, they have no leads no nothing right because nobody's saying nothing and then they put I don't know if it was the young guy that went to the that's in the hospital or the guy that was dead but he was in a they had him in a white car trying to get him out of there and get him to the hospital and get help the taunting was on my ass and uh, they couldn't get out. There's videos of them <laughs> going every which way, but everything's barricaded, right? You know, and, uh, <laughs> I guess eventually they got out, but come on, man. If you're gonna have barricades and stuff like that, then at least have at every fucking barricade across the road at least something that's easy to move so somebody can get in or out in an emergency. But it's like for the last killings there, the last shooting, the, the, the ambulance couldn't get in there because the police couldn't get in because the police have to go in to make sure it's safe for the ambulance guys, right? Like, I'm sure there's a few people in Chaz that would like to get their hands on an ambulance and everything that's in it, right? So, it's, uh, I hope the mayor does something about this to the governor because we don't want to see Trump have to do it because he'll just 
something bad's gonna happen. Sure, shit, and that's why they're holding off and waiting, right? Like, I don't really know what to say. I mean, you can always have the cops seize your place like in the old days and just starve the motherfuckers out, I guess. But anyways, we'll throw a little story in here for a little humor. Just water, it's, I don't know, nine in the morning, something like that here. Um, quite a few years back, Mama was working at this office, and it's Christmas time, we're gonna have an office party. Mama wanted me to come. But she made me promise no fighting. Not that I, I do that stuff, folks, but inevitably there's always some idiot drunk and you know, I don't handle drunks well. Anyways, so we're at this office party and her boss, he's a uh, guy in his 50s, maybe early 60s, and uh, the lady that run the office, and that was just old, I don't know, she wasn't much over five feet tall, but she was about four foot wide, as old English battle axe lady, right? <laughs> Anyways, me and Tracy's boss, me and him were standing out on the back deck and I asked him he want to smoke a joint. This was a long time ago before it was legal. Anyways, we were smoking a joint, me and him. And he leaves and a few minutes later, me and Tracy are over there on the deck and this old battle axe lady comes out and she looks fucking pissed, people. <laughs> right? <laughs> she looks at me and she says, you were smoking dope with whatever the guy's name was, right? And I said, yeah. And she goes, without me? <laughs> that did a, did a 180 on me. I was surprised at that. Anyways, every 